Hi and welcome to a new video. Sometimes it is not enough to simply delete an app from your iPhone because it may still be taking up space on your iCloud storage. Fortunately, permanently removing an application from your iCloud account is also quite simple. In this video, I will show you how to do this on your iPhone. Let's go. When iCloud Backup is enabled on your device, all data from each of your installed apps is backed up to the cloud. If you want to permanently delete an application, be sure to remove it from your backup first. To do this, open Settings and tap on your name above. Go to iCloud Settings and open the iCloud Backup menu. If you find that iCloud Backup is deactivated on your device, you can proceed to delete an app from your home screen or the app library. Otherwise, follow the next step. In the iCloud settings on your device, click the Manage Account Storage Configuration. Then look for Backups from the list of apps below. Open the most recently recorded backup file and simply uncheck the application in the list to remove its data from the backup. If you have multiple backups listed here, you can review them one at a time and follow the steps I've mentioned to remove the app data. After removing the app data from your iCloud backup, you can proceed to delete it from your home screen or app library. Tap and hold the application and then click Delete App. In case you choose to restore your device from your iCloud backup, the deleted application will be excluded. Even if you delete the app from your iCloud backup, you'll still see an iCloud icon in the App Store indicating that you previously installed it. This is because every download you make is recorded in the purchase history of your iCloud account. Although you can't delete your purchase history record, you can hide it instead. To do this, tap the profile icon in the upper right corner to access your account settings. Go to Purchase and open the My Purchases page. Swipe an app from the list and tap on the Hide button. Once it's hidden, you'll see the Get button again instead of the iCloud icon when you search for the app. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.